Genetic nutrition has been getting a lot of attention in the last five years. The analysis is really involved in looking at the different genetic pathways where there might be some deficiencies resulting in some excess. So let me go into a little bit further. Uh, for the lab work that's done is through 23andMe. Patients can order this themselves. They used to do the interpretation of the results, and again, which is pretty complicated, but they would simplify it for the consumer. However, they've stopped doing that recently. Now, the analysis um, needs to be done by a professional in order for someone to be able to understand the results because they come through into the report in a complicated fashion. We use a software program that can analyze these genetic pathways. For instance, there could be a genetic pathway where the patient is deficient in a certain enzyme that breaks down a, a substance into a product. If this enzyme is not working at optimal function, then there will be byproducts or toxins that could be created in the body that will cause buildup in some organic acids. And this in and of itself can cause disease, not to, not to mention the result of the deficiency itself, because if you're deficient in certain enzymes, for instance, the enzyme that helps break down your fatty acids, because fatty acids, carbohydrates, they produce the main source of energy in the body. If your enzyme, if you're deficient in an enzyme that helps carry the fatty acids into the cells, then you're not going to have as much energy as you could have. Also, what, that, what can happen is if the fatty acid is not properly broken down, there can be toxic byproducts of that substance. So anything that's not properly broken down the way it needs to be will result in a possible toxin or organic acid overload for the system. And then that can cause a certain degenerative disease process. And then again, there's the insufficient energy that the patient will not have because they're not breaking down these food products. So that's just one pathway of breaking down certain foods. There are many, many pathways that go on in the body that are affected by genes, and genes make the protein that makes the enzyme that will carry out this enzymatic reaction to break down this substance into the product that the body needs. And so when we look at these genetic pathways, find out the deficiencies, we can pick a supplement custom made for that pathway um, to help that deficiency and then minimize the resultant toxin from that as well. So it could be an antioxidant, it could be a pathway that makes a certain antioxidant such as glutathione. And if the patient is short on glutathione, my goodness, they're gonna be at risk for uh, increased inflammation, cancer, all kinds of symptoms can come out of not having that powerful antioxidant in your body. I mean, everybody will have it in small amounts, but you need a good amount of it to just maintain health, let alone heal from disease, prevent infection. And so we can supplement with these antioxidants if a person is short, and there are products made specifically to help um, compensate for that short pathway. And so what I do now is I can take that report from the lab that people are ordering themselves, and you can still order it for yourself for $200, it's called 23andMe, and then you send the report. I break it down using a software program, and the software program also, what's great about this software program, it doesn't just look at that raw material from that particular lab. We can also order a lab that looks at the organic acids um, that are in your urine to confirm, okay, this pathway isn't working, and yes, you are building up these, these acids. Now, if that isn't confirmed, then we may not need to mess with supplementing because not every pathway that has a mistake in it will be expressed. And so we want to look at three things. We want to look at the 23andMe report that gives us the raw data. But we also take into account the patient's symptoms. Again, the expression of that genetic pathway where we see in the raw material there could be a problem there However, if the patient is not expressing any symptoms, they don't have the resultant toxic overload that would be expressed from that pathway, then, then we're wasting money and time on, on giving that patient a supplement. A uh, better supplement would be found when we look at some other pathways where the patient is actually expressing symptoms and we're seeing toxic buildup from that. And so that's what's great about this analysis is that it's very comprehensive in looking at the symptoms other relevant labs to look at the toxic buildup, and then, of course, the 23andMe report as well. So go to my website, naturopathicdoctorforyou.com, and uh, get some more information about that, order the report, 
and in just a short brief time you will have a full analysis and what supplements you'll need to take to help yourself have a much better quality of life.